13 inch macbook air retina model a1932 years 2018 and 2019 logic board replacement make sure that the macbook is completely shut down and flip it over we're going to need a proprietary apple's star-shaped pentalope screwdriver bit the back cover is secured with 10 pentalope screws the top four are slightly different and the rest of the six are short Go ahead and remove them and set them in a line so that you remember where they go. Once the screws are removed, lift up the MacBook. We'll need to pry apart the cover. It's clipped in, so with just a little bit of resistance, you should be able to pop it right off. Before we proceed, we need to pull the power on the battery. Go ahead and locate the battery connection, and with a plastic tool, gently pry in and push it out of its socket. With a T4 screwdriver, go ahead and remove the retainer clip for the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna cables. There are two screws and the clip comes off. Go ahead and pry underneath the cables and disconnect them. Push up the lever and disconnect the audio board. Now push up and lift up the lever and pull out and disconnect the fan ribbon cable. Go ahead and remove with that same T4 screwdriver the retention clip for the trackpad. With that retention clip out of the way you can just pop it right out of its socket. Now go ahead and disconnect the right speaker. Remove the two T4 screws that are guarding the Thunderbolt uh, bracket. Go ahead and pop the Thunderbolt out of its socket. Disconnect it. Switching to a T5 bit, remove the following six screws as you see here. I always like to lay them out so I know exactly where they go back to. Now as we pry up the board, we need to disconnect one more cable. So flip the board over as you see here. Go ahead and remove the following T4 screws. With the T4 screws removed, that should come disconnected. And there you go, the logic board is out. Reassembly. We'll need to reconnect the connection that's underneath the board first. So go ahead and align it, pop it in, make sure it's nice, secure, and tight, and then secure it with those two T4 screws. Once the screws are in, make sure no cables are jammed and just put it into its slot. Go ahead and push in the trackpad connection and then the right speaker as well. Now go ahead and push in the Thunderbolt. Start securing the six T5 screws. With the six screws secure, we can go ahead and start putting back the retention clips. Do the uh, T4 um, retention clip for the trackpad first. And then plug in the audio and click in the lash. Plug in the fan and click in the lash. Make sure it's nice and tight. Go ahead and uh, click in the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas. I'll save you the uh, pain and clip this little part. Go ahead, put back the, reten the retention clip and secure the two T4 screws here.
Now we can put back the Thunderbolt retention clip, secure those two T4 screws, reconnect the battery power cable to the logic board by sliding it into its socket. Put back the cover and give it a nice firm push when you have it aligned so that it clicks in. Go ahead and put back the four screws. As you can see, the longest two go in the center and then the other ones go in each corner. And then the shorter screws all go around the remainder of the contour of the Mac. This concludes the tutorial. Help support our content by subscribing.